I'll tell you what, this might be one of my favorite roads, like public roads to drive down. But when you're doing it in a vehicle towing like this, the fully loaded trailer, got uh, a bunch of stuff back in there, including the ride on mower. It's a little bit spooky, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyway, let's make hay while the sun shines. We're on the road today. We're uh, heading south here from, um, well, we're just out, just out of Brisbane, but, um, we're heading south, we're going to a buddy's place. Um, we're gonna go see a guy who's, well, he's been around the Australian dirt racing scene forever. He's um, one of the legends of the sport really, and um, his name's Ken. Cannonball Ken. <laughs> Man, I'll talk more about him soon. But um, we go down to his place, um, you know, probably once a month or thereabouts. We head down there and give him a hand around the house and catch up talk shop about dirt and speedway and motorsports and talk tall tales and history and all that sort of stuff he's such an interesting guy and one of the good guys really but uh let's just slow it down a little bit here <laughs> but um yeah we're heading out to his place i've made the decision uh, the next step i want to head over to america i want to go over there and Play in the clay, so to speak. And uh, Ken's a good guy to talk to about all that. He uh, he knows a lot of people. He's got a lot of contacts. And um, I'm going to go see whether or not we can try and organise to get in touch with the right people. Perhaps there's a chance that we can string some things together here and uh, get something lined up for some driving over in America, particularly some dirt racing. That, that's the next thing I want to do. Um, the goal. Um, really is just to get over there and then we'll see what happens but um, there's some races I want to do there's some stuff that I want to do over there and I think it's the right time to try and make it and make our way across and um, put some inroads into American dirt racing stuff but we'll see what happens we'll see what we can do and it's a hell of a road this is one of the best roads I love driving around here like I said it's a bit hairy when you're fully loaded like this but um, really pretty part of the world right here. About the falling rocks. I'm right, gonna go back up the hill. You just hear how hard the cars work and trying to climb. A lot of weight in that trailer. Easy does it. If you haven't been out here before, if you've never been to Australia before, you really ought to come out here if you can one day. It is a really, really pretty place. Go to the right places. It's not all just deserts and Outback and whatnot is a really stunning country. I highly recommend it if you get the chance. I can just drive for days through some of the countryside that we get to enjoy over here. And yes, we drive on the left hand side of the road to the right. I'm going to pull off up here, just going to make sure that the uh, everything in the tra trailer is right. Oh, wait on. Phone started ringing as well. What timing? All right. Hang on. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know. I know. Of course I know who that is. Wait, really? Today, I'm just on my way out to Ken's. Really? Okay, yep. I can make it. I can make it in time. 
I gotta get out here and do this stuff, but I can make it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Peace, brother. I'll talk to you later. Oh, boy. I don't have time to check the trailer now. We gotta go. We gotta get out to Ken's place and quickly get some stuff done at his place. Because... That phone call was very interesting. We've got a meeting. Phone conference. With someone who I very desperately want to talk to. Alright. We're in a hurry now. We're going to have to get this done. This actually remind, <laughs> reminds me of that time we're in a hurry. We got to go do that exhibition race. With the cross carts. Oh man. <laughs> All right, here we go. And we're off. Bit of carnage. Don't really want to be banging wheels in these things. Oh, old mate flipped. Savage. Not quite sure how many laps we've got to go. This track is barely wide enough to race these things. There we go, we're through. five so what ten laps to go You've got 15 laps to get to the ground here and we're doing that pretty easily
to find our way through here. Kind of blocking and defending in all the right places. Oh! They are savage, these things. So much power and acceleration. Oh! We touched! Thought we might have been able to get around the outside there. I love this track though. Remember as a kid driving in over the Westgate Bridge up there, you can see in the distance. And every single time you look down off the edge and see the Port Melbourne track and think, ah, I want to go there. This is starting to get frustrating. We need to find a way around. Well, that's not going to do it. say that they sound fantastic. Pass, we get there. All right, we're off. Oh, now we can really let it, let it un. Leash. We're a bit deep into turn one though. We got places to be, guys. We're going to hurry. It is brutality. There's so much power. The power to wait is insane. Lap car.
Now we're starting to get the hang of it, but... Whoa! Uh-oh. A bit wild, but we saved it. More lap cars. Nearly at the end of the race. I'm not sure if this is the last race, uh, the last lap, or the next one. I'm I'm guessing this might be the last lap now. That's well wide. <laughs> They're just savagery. <laughs> We're out of here. Well, welcome to Ken's place. Have a look at this. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Just sitting in the driveway. He knows when I'm coming to visit. Uh, but we, we're here today. We're going to give him a hand. We're going to go and uh, tidy up around here. We come in here probably once a month or thereabouts and... Um, jump on the mower and uh, run around here and clean up the yard a bit for him. Here it is. Here's our truck. Got the trailer hooked up here with the mower on it. But uh, we're going to run around here and uh, quickly mow the lawns. Get everything fired up, make sure it all works. We're good. We're not doing out in the paddock today. We're just doing the front. We do not have much time. Like I said, we are in a hurry all of a sudden. I've got about 20 minutes I need to get this done in. I filled Ken in. I told him about this uh, meeting that I've got and... Uh, I've organised I'm going to come back out here and catch up with Ken another time, but um, he understands completely. Let's make sure that we've got this working properly. Just the... Uh, that's not it. A little lower. There we go. Just got to adjust the height on the... Uh, adjust the height on the blades. There we go. Come around with the edge trimmer at the end and uh, get the very edges. Try not run over the plants though. Ugh, Bunch of trees in the face. All right. Some more. Get out of the way. All right. And uh, around the other side up here. It's a really nice place that Ken's got out here. 
Ken's one of the legends. He, uh, been around for what seems like forever. Veteran. He's, uh, an old man now, but back in his day, he was a hell of a driver. Spent most of his time on the dirt tracks, but he's done a bit of pavement and, uh, things like that too in his time. He used to call him a can cannonball Ken, because he'd, uh, be coming through no matter what. Still holds a few records and things like that too from some of the tracks around here, despite having not raced competitively for oh, probably 30 years now. He's one of the uh, legends from the 60s and 50s, 60s, and 70s era. some of this that we've missed here in the corner but as is the way with those guys they're never really fully out of the circle they know people they still talk to people and it's just a cool cool thing to be able to hang out with a person like that and hear stories about the good old days it's a different world now racing is not like what it once was and become good friends with Ken over the years, ever since I was a little kid, I first met him. I used to come here and start mowing his lawns to make a few dollars when I was a kid. Something that I continue to do even to this day. Alright. I'm trying to make sure we don't screw this up here and miss any bits. So there we go. It's the corners that are the tricky bits. Seems like an obvious thing to say, doesn't it? <laughs> How are we going for time? And we're going to struggle. Just a bit along the edge right there, we get that. Alright, now let's see, how do we go? Oh, I missed a little bit there. Oh, uh, yeah, missed. See, look, I missed a bit right in the middle. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> We're going to have to go back. We, we've gone a little bit too far over. Missed the whole strip right down the middle. Look at it. Ah, oh, all the way. That's frustrating. We'll have to go back and get that. There's something therapeutic about mowing lawns. I don't know what it is. Look at it, we missed a bit all the way along there too. Ah, that's frustrating. We don't have time for that. Steady does it. Trusty old Winnie here that we're riding. I call this, uh, I call this moment Winnie. I named it Winnie because uh, the colour reminded me of Winnie the Pooh. He's a great mower. Alright. Around again. Let's see how, if we did a better job of it that time, or if we missed bits all over the place again. Hopefully we were a bit better that time. Much better. Look at that. 
much better. Just a little bit there that we got wrong. Oh, the corners again, though. Look at the corners. I right, need to do a better job of that. That should be better. All right. Around we go again. So we've got a... Uh, an interesting call. We got uh, someone's reached out. Actually, found out that I was uh, interested. That I had one ear to the ground about trying to find some stuff to do in regards to racing dirt in America. And uh, a fella has reached out. His name's Tony, and um, he's based in America. He has a midget deal. Amongst other things. He wants to talk. So, definitely want to uh, jump on, but of course, it's only the morning here. But uh, because he's based in America, and it's going to be about just after 12.30 my time, I need to be home and ready. So, definitely don't want to miss the opportunity to catch up with him. Have a listen to what he's got to say. Fingers crossed, though, it can lead to something. So much of this is not about what you know, it's who you know. See if these corners look a little better. That's better. See, look at that. Beautiful. All right. So that's how we got to do it. Making good progress. Oh, we're nearly 10 minutes. I'm going to struggle to get it all done in time, though. run over any more plants. Ben's a nice guy. He doesn't like it when you run over his plants, unsurprisingly. I'll just go straight up across here and turn around on the bricks. Got a pretty good turning circle, this thing, but uh, can't turn around quite that tightly. All right. At least we're not making any mistakes now. We're not leaving any lines of uncut grass between the rows. up here and go around this little garden bed. And here, there we go. Oh. Don't get the plants. Beautiful. We'll get this little bit up the end here finished. bit of zigging and zagging. Missed that little bit there. All right, there we go. That's good. That little bit over there. Backwards and forwards. 
How satisfying. I was going to get this. I've got it. It's going to drive me insane if I don't fix those bits up. There you go. How satisfying is it, though? Seeing some freshly cut grass. There's a little bit more here that I've got to get. Look at that. There. Better go back over. Uh, I better go back over here and do this. These bits that I've missed on this side, real quick. There we go. In the middle. Get this bit on the corner. Better go back the other way, real quick, and get this other direction. There we go. In the middle. Alright. Back onto the main part of the yard. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and then jump back in the car. We're going to race off for this meeting, guys. But, uh... Hopefully. Hopefully. Something good comes from this meeting start to make headways into the next step on our journey towards racing in America. <laughs>